Tony Graham here at 38 Custom Home Builders. In the past, I've talked about the importance of understanding heat, air, and moisture flow through a building enclosure. Today, I'd like to talk about um, uh, moisture barriers in particular, how important that is. And it starts at the foundation, and then the walls, and then the roof. And underneath the foundation, depending on what type of foundation you have, you want to make sure you're doing the proper techniques. Slam on grain, we do a capillary break, we use 10 mil vapor barrier, which is above code. Uh, same thing with the gravel. We make sure that we seal it on the edges. We make sure that we seal underneath our plates so water doesn't wick up into the wall. When you're putting any type of cladding on the exterior, you want to make sure you have not just the weather resistant barrier, which is a drainage plane, which is required by code, but also a rain screen. Now where you get 40 inches of rain a year, you want to make sure that any water that gets behind that cladding has a way to get out. All doors and windows need to absolutely be installed correctly and flash properly for them to function you know, over time and, and be durable. And the roof, nowadays, almost everyone is using a peel and stick membrane in the event that you have high winds and it blows off part of your roofing uh, shingles, shakes, metal roof or whatever, it still helps to protect the roof. So building a, a, uh, a, a making sure that your moisture resistant barrier is, is, is continuous is a critical component to building a durable house. Here at Grand Family Homes, we understand the importance of that, and these are the kinds of details that we make sure get done.